When it comes to the perfect curls, get ready to curl up to your flat iron. Now, this technique creates big bouncy curls and sexy beach waves. And you've probably seen your hairstylist do it in the salon, but now you can easily recreate a similar look at home. So first things first, make sure you protect your hair with a thermal spray before you get started. So to start these big bouncy curls, you wanna make sure that you section off your hair so that it's easier to curl. So sometimes I smooth out the hair, then I grab up the plates, wrap it over, twist, and make sure that it's locked between the plates, and then quickly make the curl. And they will stay like big bouncy curls. So keep going. So the bangs are really interesting because nobody likes a giant curl right by their eye, especially a ringlet curl. So I always kind of straighten mine out, twist, and then let go. And this will kind of look more like Farrah Fawcett after it falls, not too much of a ringlet. So one thing I noticed when I was testing out this technique is that I could use the wrap around and twist technique, but I couldn't do the same for this side because the curls would go every which way and they kind of looked like they were sticking straight out instead of actually curled. So all I do for my right side or for you, whatever side it is that's harder to curl, is just take it within the plates and then just start twisting the iron. And now you have a beautiful curl, just like the other side. So now you're just going to shake out your hair, see if there's any spaces that need some more curl. Clearly my hair has fallen, which is the key to this entire look. Wait for it to fall. After you finish that, just take some hairspray if you wanna add some more volume. And I actually start by flipping my hair over. I spray underneath, and that just gives it a little bit of height. And then I go back and spray any baby hairs that I may have so that looks clean and polished. And then if you don't wanna use hairspray, if you have enough volume, just use some shine drops. And all you need is a pea size amount. You just rub it between your palms, just lightly dab it. Because if you put too much, your hair will look oily. What you're going for is a nice luster to make the hair look more dimensional and just a little bit more coiffed. The ends of the hair, like these right here, they're a little bit more straight. That's because I didn't curl them, and it gives it more of a beach wave look, which I like. The final result should be shiny curls or waves that look completely effortless. And the best part is that you don't even need a curling iron to curl your hair. I'm Kirby, and thanks for watching Bella Sugar TV.